Cook on Sunday, eat till Thursday. I'm Allie and you're watching Economy Bites. Okay, so I'm gonna write down a bunch of different names of the kind of meat that you can buy for a pot roast, and you can just buy one of these things. Like whichever one you find that is like the cheapest. It looks really kind of bad weather outside, and I've decided that I don't wanna mess up my makeup. So I'm gonna send our intern, Emily, to the grocery store today. Bring me my change. Thanks. Cold. Okay, Allie is kind of a <laughs> for making me do this on the worst day since I've been in New York. It is really cold and rainy. We're asking for help for everything because we can't find anything, so. Um, we, there is no fresh parsley here. Um, okay, so first of all, do you want boneless? $25, which is great if you think about how much meat we just bought, so you'll eat this for a long time. <laughs> I really want to go back inside. What took you so long? <laughs> so I'm going to get started on my pot roast. First thing I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 350, and now I'm going to chop all my veggies so that they're ready to go. Five onions. I'm just going to chop them up like really into big chunks. There goes the spatula. Don't worry, that will get cleaned later. For all you terrified people who are so terrified of my cleanliness habits. Hygiene is very important. Sometimes, when we're in our own kitchen, we let little things slide here and there, and that's just part of life, and I think that's okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. So this is based on a recipe that was given to me by my very good friend, Leslie. Leslie's recipe, I believe, is from her mother, whose name is Connie, so thank you. Now I'm gonna pull out four carrots. Since these are kinda small, I'm just gonna use them all. This might sound corny, but I feel like someday when I'm a grown up economy biter and I've got little mini economy biters running around, this will be the kind of meal that I'll be able to cook for my family. Sometimes I like to think that economy bites is training me for future, like for real grown up alley. And lastly, I'm going to take about five stalks of celery. My mom likes the leaves, so I'm gonna keep the leaves on for mom. I'm gonna just sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. Isn't that a beautiful bowl of veggies? And now I'm gonna get started on my meat. This is what we call a Dutch oven. This was given to me by my grandma Bernice who is very, very generous. This is good because you can put it on the stove and we can sear our meat in, uh, on top of the stove and then we can just add all the rest of the stuff to it and continue to cook it in the oven. If you don't have something that can go from stove to oven, you can sear your meat in a pan or in a pot and then put it onto like a cheapo roasting pan. We're just gonna scorch the outside of our meat to get a nice crust on it. So I want it to get hot, hot. Inside, we're gonna put some peanut oil. And while we're doing that, let's take our roast. I'm just gonna season it really well with salt and pepper before season it liberally. Woo, nice and hot. So we're gonna start, this is the fat, the white part. We're gonna start fat side down, and we're gonna sear it for about two and a half minutes on each side. We're just getting a crust on it. I'm gonna open my bottle of cooking sherry. I'm gonna pour myself a cup of it, just cause I feel like having a drink. I'm gonna pick it up here. See that crust we got going there? I'm just gonna pick it up and let it cook on this. There we go. We're gonna try and get that on each side. I'm gonna add that. Oh, did I say, did I mention that this is a four pound roast? I'm gonna make you love me. Ooh, yes I will. Yes I will. I'm gonna make you love me. My hands taste good already. They just barely touch the meat and they already taste good. That's what she said. That's dirty. So it's been searing for about two and a half minutes on each side. What I'm gonna do is remove it now to a plate. Look at that. If it wasn't raw on the inside, it would be perfect to eat. What we're gonna do is take our oven mitts, pour off all the excess oil, and we're gonna put this back, turn this to a medium high heat, pour in the cup of sherry that we readied earlier to pick up all those yummy pieces on the inside. And we're gonna give it about five minutes and let it reduce down to about half a cup. 
We're gonna use this like reduced down, concentrated, delicious sauce as a glaze that we're gonna pour over our meat. You can see here that our glaze has reduced down and I'm just gonna pour this off. Actually, you know what, we can turn this off because now all we're gonna do is take our vegetables, we're gonna pile them high in here. Okay, we might have to take some of them out actually so we can fit the meat. Okay, and now we're gonna take our meat. Hey, show the meat. And we're just gonna put this on top. Two bay leaves in here. We didn't have any fresh parsley today. So we're just gonna use a handful. This is actually really nice though. You can see it's really green. Now we're gonna take the sauce that we reduced. We have about a half a cup. And we're going to take chicken broth and we're gonna cover it up until we want it to just get up kind of almost to the top, maybe four to six cups. The roast is gonna like soak up the liquid while it cooks. And that's beautiful, isn't it? And that was only 25 bucks, seriously. And we haven't even cooked it yet and look how freaking good it looks already. And we're gonna let it cook for two hours and 45 minutes and then see what we think. When we took it out of the oven, it had a whole lot of liquid in it and so we spooned some of it off. And if you wanted, you could save that liquid and turn it into a gravy. Using a fork, a spatula, and a prayer, we're gonna remove this to a dish. It's horrible. Bad idea, bad idea. There we go, that worked all right. And we've got all these yummy vegetables sitting in this great juice here that we could strain and eat also along with it. And we are going to invite intern Emily to come in and give it a taste. Since she did all the grocery shopping for us, she gets first bite. One of the many perks. One of the many perks of being an intern at Economy Bites. TV. Cheers. Ooh, that is a big bite. Mmm. It's That's really good. good. This is really good. Really good. I don't usually even eat red meat that mm. often. That's really good. It tastes almost like a brisket because mm -hmm. it's so juicy. Mmm. I got some stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Cook on Sunday. Cook on Sunday. Eat till Thursday. Eat till Thursday. I'm Emily. I'm Emily. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm in a spieling mood. I'm spieling. I'm spieling. I'm spieling real good. When I'm in my spieling mode, I can't be stopped. I'm spieling and I got spilkies and I'm mashugana. Mashugana. I don't like it when you get it close to my face. Nobody's face looks that good close up.